Former representative to Thailand Lee ing yuan died Thursday evening following a battle with ampullary cancer. He was 68. Legislator Guan Biling paid a heartfelt tribute to Lee on Friday, describing him as an even-tempered man who always had a smile for others. As a young man, Lee had been blacklisted and imprisoned by the KMT over his pro-democracy activities. He initiated the 228 hand-in-hand -hand rally in 2004, and he was instrumental to the re-election campaign of former President Chen Shui-bian. Li Yingyuan returned to Taiwan from Thailand at the end of August. He looked frail as he waved to cameras at the airport. Less than three months later, news broke of his death from cancer. His passing triggered a rush of tributes from his longtime colleagues. He spent his whole life fighting for Taiwan's sovereignty and democracy. It is deeply unfortunate that he's left us at such an age, but we are very grateful for how he fought the good fight and for his spiritual courage. No one had a bad word to say about him. He was forever welcoming others with a smile. His hand-in-hand -hand rally in 2004 is a part of Taiwan's collective memory. It was such difficult work putting it together because the scale was so large. It was truly such difficult work, but it helped Taiwan unite. In 2004, two million people formed a human chain to commemorate the February 28 incident and protest Chinese aggression. Li had come up with the idea for the demonstration. A graduate of National Taiwan University's College of Public Health, he also had a doctorate in health economics from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. As a student overseas, he became blacklisted by the KMT for his activities in the Taiwanese Association of America. This meant he could not legally return to Taiwan. After doing so anyway in the year 1990, he managed to elude intelligence agents for over a year, but was ultimately found and imprisoned in September 1991. At the time, my preference was for returning to Taiwan and not leaving again, to continue things that way. So I returned and then lived a year and two months as a fugitive. After spending several months in prison, Li was later elected to the Legislative UN in 1995, where he served two terms. In the year 2000, when the DPP rose to power, Lee was appointed deputy representative to the U.S. In 2002, he was tapped by his party to challenge the re-election of Taipei Mayor Ma Yingjio. <laughs> Lee loved to sing and was never too shy for a song. In comparison, his wife Laura Huang kept a lower profile, but was invariably by his side in times of need. Their closeness was well known in political circles. My brother and sister-in-law were both admitted to their top choice program, NTU's College of Public Health. At NTU, their role numbers were number one and number two. Sometimes with the bills he proposed, we would be left thinking, can it be done? Can these bills be passed? And every time he would tell us, if it is right, then it must be done. It's not easy for someone to still have all these ideals after being in politics for so long. Tributes are pouring in for Lee from close friends. In death, he is remembered equally for his strong convictions as his gentle humor and warmth.